Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Productronica in Munich and I'm on the Scoop Studio and I'm joined by Martin from Saki. Thanks for stopping by. Great to see you. Always lots of going on with um, Saki. So let's start a little bit with technology. You've got a new AXI machine. Tell me how that came about and how the market's responding. Very right. Thank you. So actually this year we are putting on uh, the market new AXI model. It's the third generation or technically fourth generation I would say of the full CT machine. And um, uh, basically the key points is that the machine is much smaller footprint than the previous one which had a good reputation I think on the market but was too big. So we downsized the machine a lot, we speed it up and we are ready to go basically for uh, all kinds of requirements that are coming quite rapidly these days. Yeah. And last year elsewhere you released a new platform. I take it the AXI is on the, on the same platform using the same basic software technology? Yet again very right. Actually we released uh, Unified. It's kind of a unique thing. We uh, have one platform for the hardware and software for all of the devices, for SPI, AXI, AOI and um, the X-ray machine itself inherits most of the good points of the AOI machines wherever it's possible. Naturally, of course, the X-ray machine has its own uh, specifics, but it's basically running the same software and it's sharing most of the parts with the AOI SPI, which actually is one of the points for our customers. We make it simpler for the maintenance, to keep the same procedures, keep the same way how to build the program and link the program with other things. Yeah, so that's good for you in terms of in terms of managing your supply chain, but it's good for customers that have multiple Saki machines in their line. Is that typical that when someone adopts Saki, it kind of finds its way into various locations in their process? Actually, yes, of course, indeed. And I think it's also the trend nowadays more and more that um, the customers are focusing on one vendor and trying to find the smart functions or requiring the smart functions. So there is lots going on with the connection of the SPI, AOI, AOI, AXI and all these kind of things we are in high pace to actually deliver to the market with yeah. this new lineup. Yeah, and I saw you're doing that with some collaborations, for example, I know I'm talking to one of your colleagues with Kogiscan this week and you're, you're working on, on connectivity with them. That collaboration with other companies is obviously very important. Actually it is, of course. We also want to deliver uh, not only the machines for the inspection itself, but of course all of the necessary things around. So that's why we're also cooperating with other uh, big uh, guys on the market as the Kujiscan for delivering the SPC uh, systems, or well, let's say improving the SPC systems and overview systems where we can uh, monitor uh, the real-time OEE uh, analysis, drill down the problems and simply deliver something which is very fast and flexible for the customers. Yeah, and that's where the customers are getting value from, from the data that you're producing. You produce excellent data but they need to convert that to intelligence and to actionable decision-making processes. Saki seems to be going great guns at the moment. You're expanding everywhere. Tell me what that means to Europe. I think you've got a new facility in Czechoslovakia. You're well informed. So yes, actually we, we do expand not only in Europe uh, but pretty much everywhere and uh, just uh, let me say three months ago uh, we expanded the office in Czech so it's now three times bigger uh, than we had before because our team is also consequently growing. In the same time we have, uh, as actually this is also uh, quite well known I believe, but we have R&D department in Europe as well. So we hired more and more guys for this R&D department and we are uh, having all of them and all of our team right now in one new facility close to Prague. So that's it's interesting and, I, and when I look at R&D it's great that you're doing it globally and you're deploying it because the demands of all the countries are differently, different but you have to connect that globally so everybody's, everybody's doing the same thing. How does, how does that work? Do the R&D teams all congregate at certain times of the year? Well of course um, there are many procedures how we share uh, what we do. Actually it's also part of my job to uh, kind of coordinate what we do in Europe for the R&D, for the new functions and of course we communicate together with our mother in Japan and uh, with other regions. Our aim is to have basically the R&D department for every continent so we can support the customers anytime uh, in their time zone and uh, uh, to make modifications which are necessary for the local customers because actually every market has its own specifics so that's what is needed. And it's important for you to have voice of customer and to put that into the R&D roadmap as you go forward. Martin, thanks for stopping by. Pleasure to chat. Enjoy the rest of the show and I hope we can talk again soon. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.